This episode was brought to you by Pentester Academy, the leader in online cybersecurity education. Join over 10,000 professionals from 90 countries to learn security online. I'm Marley Oxenholm here at Securing Hardware in San Francisco, and I'm speaking with some of the trainers that are here today. Would you mind introducing yourself for us? Hi, I'm Michael Lossman of Great Scott Gadgets. Nice to meet you. Tell me more about your uh, training today. Well, I'm teaching software-defined radio, which is a technique for using general-purpose computers like your laptop uh, to transmit or receive arbitrary radio signals and hack on wireless technologies. Okay, very cool. And now, what is a software-defined radio? So a software-defined radio technically is a radio that is implemented in software instead of a radio that's implemented in hardware. Now, of course, you have to have some kind of hardware in order to implement a radio in software, but we use a general purpose platform like HackRF in order to uh, uh, um, uh, give us the ability to then implement special purpose radios in software with this general purpose hardware. Okay, and what inspired you to create HackRF? Well, there, there weren't, at the time, any really affordable solutions for software-defined radio. Specifically, there, there weren't any open-source hardware platforms for software-defined radio. Back when I first started creating HackRF, uh, the lowest cost device, kind of general purpose transceiver for software-defined radio was in the neighborhood of $1,000. And so I was able to reduce that down to about a third of that price and make it open source hardware so anyone can, can build it, and anyone can modify the design, and, and uh, hopefully advance the technology going forward. Nice, that's awesome. And now I'm curious, are you planning any major upgrades to HackRF or any other new devices in the future? All sorts of things are in the works right now. Um, for for HackRF, we're actually working on some add-on boards. So I have an add-on board that uh, that makes HackRF full duplex instead of half duplex. And I have an add-on board that allows you to rapidly switch between antennas, which is useful for all kinds of things, including some direction finding techniques. And uh, we have an add-on board already that comes from Jared Boone of ShareBrain Technologies that allows you, it's called a port pack and it allows you to turn the HackRF into a handheld platform instead of being tied to your computer all of the time. Uh, and the other big thing we're working on right now is is not a uh, not for HackRF, but is actually a more of a more relevant to hardware security, which is GreatFet. It's a, the next generation of Travis Goodspeed's GoodFet project. Uh, my company is Great Scott Gadgets, so we call it the Great Fet, and it's a kind of a general purpose hardware hacking tool that's expandable with a lot of different add-on boards for it. Very cool. I look forward to that. And now I'm curious, what is the most interesting attack that you're demonstrating in class? Uh, today we're doing a number of different attacks, but, but primarily what we're doing is reverse engineering wireless communication systems. So we have all kinds of different digital radio devices, uh, either that we brought with us or things that we're picking up from outside the building, and we're trying to investigate them and reverse engineer them and figure out how they encode data and extract data from, from those different transmissions. Uh, but we're also doing a little bit of active attacks, uh, for example, replay attacks on those kinds of devices. Very cool. And are there any books or online resources that you'd recommend uh, for a beginner who wants to get more involved in this? Sure. Actually, uh, the, the first thing I recommend to people who want to get into SDR is my own video series uh, on greatscottgadgets.com. It's called Software Defined Radio with HackRF, and it is a, a very accessible uh, video series. It's actually based on the class that I'm teaching here at Hardware Security Jot Training, and it is... Um, it, it, right now it consists of, I think, 11, uh, 11 videos, and it will have more in the future, although I've been on a bit of a hiatus lately um, from adding more videos. But it has a lot of the same content that I have in the class, but with some slightly different examples and different exercises for people to do. And it's a, it's a great way to get started with software-defined radio, even if you don't have a HackRF. Yep. Regardless of what hardware platform you have, it's a, it's a good way, to, a good introduction to SDR. Oh, awesome. Thank you. And lastly, what got you interested in this field? Well, I, I came into the field, you know, through uh, getting into IT security for many years and then into wireless communication security research. And I kind of fell into an opportunity doing wireless communication security research, but that is what where I really started to feel like I was doing something fun and, and interesting uh, and, and kind of contributing to the com community more. And it was through that research that I got started making tools for wireless communication security research, and that's 
what I do today is I, I teach tools and techniques and I build tools and, and sell hardware uh, tools. Nice, wonderful. Thank you so much for speaking with me today. Thanks for having me. Absolutely. This episode was brought to you by Pentester Academy, the leader in online cybersecurity education. Join over 10,000 professionals from 90 countries to learn security online.